you guys i hope you're all really well today i'm back with another baby related video and i'm going to be talking about some of my maternity i want to say essentials but they're really not essentials because the only thing that's essential during pregnancy really is your health right um so i'm gonna say favorites maternity favorites um for my second baby i am currently 30 weeks pregnant so i'm solidly in my third trimester now so I would say these are, they're not necessarily like favorites specific to any one trimester, but definitely not really essentials in your first trimester. Some of them you can use, but mainly focus on your second and third when you start to get a bump and get uncomfortable. Um, in the first trimester, I think it was just anything that stopped me feeling sick and tired, which is not much. Um, but yeah, some of my favorites, some of them are similar to my previous kind of pregnancy favorites video if you guys have watched those when i was pregnant with river which is four years ago now which is crazy um but yeah let's get into it first of all a pregnancy pillow my absolute favorite one is this one from bb hug me now this is really expensive i actually got sent this at the towards the end of my pregnancy with river and I used it loads. I was really skeptical because they're about, I think about 130 pounds. And they're essentially like a tiny, tiny bean bag texture. My one needs washing because River has got in a habit of sitting on it whilst she eats her breakfast in the morning. Um, she's obsessed, obsessed with this. She calls it the sausage. Um, I genuinely do think these are the best ones. I had another one when I was pregnant with River, which was like a giant U shape, which was also good for stopping you rolling over onto your back. But in terms of like support, I love this one because it's so bendy. I put it like right under my head and then I put it round my bump between my legs. And then because I'm short, it sometimes will go around the back as well and stop me rolling a little bit too. I just really like this. I used it loads with feeding as well because it has these funny tails. It looks really weird. Like it really does look quite weird. It has these funny tails and you can tie them together and kind of make a, a little baby kind of area to sit or you can like, feed with it you can put it like round your waist and tie it at the back and like rest your arm on it when you're breastfeeding really really good expensive but good so if you are in your first pregnancy planning on having multiple children it's probably worth investing in one for the comfort of like a good night's sleep when you're pregnant if it is an option for you i would say worth it if not you can get cheaper ones from amazon etc that do the job but the bb hug me really is like the ultra comfortable one um, another thing that I actually had from my pregnancy with Riv that I revisited and this has to be, I think it's the only book I've read this pregnancy, is the day by day pregnancy book. There's so many pregnancy books out there and I find a lot of them, everyone's parenting style is different, everyone's kind of preference for birth is different etc. So there's definitely ones that will be applicable for you if you're interested in like hypnobirthing or whatever. But I kind of being on my second child i didn't want to read any of those type of books because i kind of know like what i want to do and like about the newborn phase i might kind of recap a bit about like newborn feeding routine etc um closer to the time but during pregnancy the only book this time that i've read is this one and i loved it in my last pregnancy as well it basically has a, a page per day of your pregnancy it's very scientific um so it goes into a lot of like the physical details as well as like a lot of the obviously more emotional stuff but you can literally it has a lot of illustrations a lot of images um like scan images and things like that and i just find the kind of science side of pregnancy and childbirth absolutely fascinating so i really really enjoyed this book you can get it on amazon i think it's about 15 pounds um but yeah just things like that. i just really really <laughs> There's boobs in that one. Sorry, guys. That was a bit bit of a flash. There's not normally boobs in all the photos. There we go. It's normally babies. Um, hilarious. Showing you a nice picture of someone's boobs. Don't know whose they were, but there we go. But yeah, love this. Would really, really recommend it. Still loved it. Something that I didn't have in my previous pregnancy um, were Spanx maternity leggings. I haven't invested in many maternity items of clothing this time around because I did have some left over from River. But I would say, in terms of essential maternity wear, leggings, jeans if you wear them, or legging, leggings and jeans, or leggings or jeans, depending on your preference, and if you wear them, maternity tights. Because 
quite frankly, you can get away with, depending on how you, what, like what kind of clothes you tend to wear. If you wear a lot of stretchy clothes, if you wear a lot of loose fitting clothes, which I do, these will last you through, like you, you, your wardrobe obviously gets more limited, but they will last you. The things that you grow out of the fastest are trousers. Um, skirts are kind of out the window as well, unless they're like stretchy and up over the bump. Um, but there's been a couple of things, it's basically like bottoms. The Spanx maternity leggings are the best I've tried. In my previous pregnancy, I tried the Seraphine ones, the Isabella Oliver ones, I think I had some H&M ones. Um, I had the Topshop jeans, which I did use right at the beginning of this pregnancy, but not further along, because I had like the under bump ones, and now I'm using the big up over the bump ones. Um, and I like the Seraphine ones, neither of which I would say I've worn as much as I did with River, partly probably because of time of year. I've worn these leggings the most, the Spanx maternity leggings. And I would say as well, the leather ones, not as good. The leather Spanx leggings fall down because the stretchy over the bump part is too big. Um, probably right at the end it will be okay, but it's too big in terms of, like in comparison to the size of the legs, if that makes sense. Um, I don't have particularly slim legs in comparison to my body either. I'd say I'm kind of in proportion in that sense. So they're just not as holding in, if that makes sense. They're not as firm support. These are really supportive, really fitted, flattering, comfortable, um, quite warm as well if you are, I guess at the moment it's summer, but if you're, if you're kind of coming into autumn winter when you're heavily pregnant, really, really nice. They're like a textured kind of vibe really like these and the other thing that I absolutely love is my mumalicious tube skirt which again I had that with River and it's just so great you can wear it up over the bump you can fold it down so it kind of comes halfway up your bump so flattering so comfortable I personally like just tie a t-shirt round under my boobs with it and I've worn it loads and it's 18 pounds you can get them at next um these are quite expensive I think it's about 60 pounds the Spanx leggings but if you're going to invest in like one good like maternity staple for your wardrobe when you're pregnant i feel like this is it right um the other thing that i have to say i have found to be the best thing ever is my hunza g swimsuit this is expensive and this is like the most expensive swimsuit i've ever bought they're about 150 quid or something like that however i've had this for about two years and it was my favorite swimsuit before i was pregnant and it's still now, my favourite swimsuit when I'm pregnant, including having tried on many maternity swimsuits. They're so nice. I actually have the solitaire design, which is the one with the waist belt, which is so much more flattering than the others. Sadly, they don't make this anymore, but they do make the plain ones without the waist belt. One thing I would say is definitely go for a dark colour, because the lighter colours are see-through. The neon colours are see-through as well. I don't understand how people on Instagram wear these swimsuits and they're not see-through because on me you can see through it like you can see my nipples but anyway the black one is fantastic they're super super stretchy they're like a one size fits all garment which I never normally believe however this fit like I mean it look how small it is now and it goes over my bump right now so great fantastic love it the other favorite I've got um app wise is the same favourite as before. There's a few new apps, I've been kind of checking them out. My absolute favourite one, I have to say, is still Pregnancy Plus. I don't know why, I just feel like it's the easiest to understand. It has the most useful features um, in terms of like what I want to input. Again, it's a little bit more, like it leans more on the kind of medical side of things and like, like informative, useful side of things rather than so much the kind of emotional and like preparing emotionally for baby type stuff because that's just not that like, as my personality that's not kind of quite as much my focus I do also really like flow which I was using before I got pregnant to track my periods um but it doesn't have quite I, I just feel like it doesn't have quite the features that I want that I like from pregnancy plus um yeah so I'm not going to show you my actual app itself because it's got all my personal details on it but pregnancy plus is definitely my favorite pregnancy app i've also got two body moisturizing favorites um body creams that i've loved during pregnancy neither of them are specifically pregnancy um targeted ones you can obviously get loads of different stretch mark creams i've used a few ones as well i've probably been through about 
six body creams in the last six months. Although, having said that, I probably only started using them in the last four months. Anyway, I'm just chatting absolute rubbish now. I am rubbish at taking good care of my body skin when I'm not pregnant. I'm really lazy with it. I don't hydrate all the time um, and moisturize all the time. However, when I'm pregnant, I really, really love the kind of ritual of looking after my skin. I also think it's really beneficial in terms of stretch marks and comfort and just the condition of your skin. I'm a big believer in the fact that stretch marks are genetic and if you're gonna get them, you're gonna get them. However, I do think taking good care of your skin and hydrating is always gonna be beneficial when it comes to limiting how bad they look and also limiting how quickly they kind of fade or go or kind of diminish afterwards as well. Um, so anyway, firstly, the L'Occitane Almond um, Delightful Body Balm. I love this product, it's absolutely divine. It's got one big downside to it, is that a little bit does not go a long way. I think this entire pot lasted me 10 uses. Um, which, considering it's quite a pricey item, is not that many. However, it's such a gorgeous body cream. Um, and the fact that also, obviously, you're moisturising a much larger area when you're pregnant, you've got a big old bump to rub it in. I feel like you use up a lot of it, but it is so, so divine. I love it, and I love the smell. I love the whole almond range, actually. And the almond shower oil, as well, has been a favourite this pregnancy. I feel like I've used it loads. Um, and then another favourite is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I have a total love-hate relationship with Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. To be honest, it's not something I used a lot before pregnancy, but I did like it, if that makes sense. I've been using this, like, every single day, and I really, really love it. I took it on holiday when we went to the States, and I just use it every single day. And now the smell reminds me of that trip, which I love when that happens. Um, but yeah, I think this works really nicely as a kind of pregnancy body hydrator, because it has that middle ground of being very very rich and feels like it sinks into your skin instead of sitting on top of your skin however it's not like instantly instantly absorbed like i feel like you have to kind of really kind of massage it in as opposed to just slap it on which i think is really nice when you're pregnant because it does it feels like it's really doing a good job if that makes sense anyway that is it for my kind of pregnancy essential slash favourites um, for this pregnancy. Like I said, a lot smaller than I think a lot of people's. I feel like there's not a lot of things that are like super, super essential, but just a few things that I enjoy wearing that make me feel good when a lot of things won't fit and also things to get like some good rest at night as well. The pregnancy pillows, 100%. Um, something I would recommend guessing whether or not you get that one or a more affordable kind of double-sided like u-shaped one it's definitely definitely worth investing in i think that's probably to be honest probably my like number one pregnancy investment would be a pregnancy pillow because you cannot put a value on sleep like genuinely when you're pregnant you're so tired but you can't sleep it's like the weirdest thing ever anyway i hope you guys all have a fantastic day and i'll see you very soon bye